Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Rex, or Rodney as you know it, and we are back again with another YouTube video. We want to try to keep these videos going out, um, pushing these out, because um, they're doing really good, it looks like, uh, at least for me. And we have picked up some subscribers, so I'm hoping that we can reach that 300 mark uh, quickly. But I, I kind of want to turn this channel to, you know, my, my motivational channel. Uh, my ways so I can, you know, teach people, motivate them, inspire people. Um, because deep down, there's a lot of people out in this world who who need that, who need to be inspired, who need to be motivated um, to push through thick and thin. And, you know, OCD again. OCD again. But it's time that we start moving forward. It's, it's time for me to start doing some more meaningful things with my time um and in terms of just like like videos like we're gonna do like motivational videos and then um i'm probably gonna be doing like a lot of elden ring um like i love elden ring i just don't play games as much as i i used to um i need to stop saying um but we will definitely get more on the grind so i just got back from class today and i was like you know what like let's do a video today let's talk about pain and I was thinking about this during like my biology class. Uh, I just got like another A, so I'm, I'm like got an A in the class. And next thing I gotta worry about is my communication class, cause uh, I got a stroke of bad luck. But we're gonna talk about today's like topic is pain. What is pain? Um, what causes pain? And how to deal with pain? How to move past with pain? Or how to carry that pain and use it as uh, a primary source of power or a secondary source of power. Um, ways that you don't let it really bring you down. Okay. So, you know, yesterday. And I'm probably going to send a video to him. But I'm not going to really be putting people's names out there. Because it's not, it's, not it's not in my place to do it. And it's not cool. Um, but yesterday I went to go talk to somebody. And... It was a conversation that was needed to be said and uh, that we needed to have. And, you know, from that conversation, like, I had to, like, uh, like, draw the boundary, draw that line and let them know what's not cool, what's, what is cool. Um, and that even at the end of the day, like, although you did this. It's not too late to go back and fix your mistake. Like you can't fix your well, when I say that, you can't fix your mistake, but you can always make it right. You can always make the right decision. It's like it's like when you um when you run a red light and then a cop the cop sees you, you either have the choice of well, I already made a mistake, so I'm going to either keep on speeding and not let the cop get to me. Which the cop is going to get to you eventually. So you're going to eventually get caught. Or you slow down. You pull over to the right of the, the side of the road. And then you stop. Those are the two options. Like you, you either make the right choice. You do what's the right thing. Or you continue doing the wrong thing. And eventually get punished for doing it. And that's kind of where I'm going with that. So... Let's talk about what pain. What pain is is kind. Of, it can be like a, a like multiple things. It can be psychological, physical, um, mental, and it can be found in like different forms and aspects of life. Uh, you can find it just like you you just never really grown up in like a good household. You never really had a good childhood, or you just had friends who never really valued your friendship the way you valued it. Um, it, it, again, it just it can be a, a, a different it, it, There's so many things about pain and then you know pain pain what pain does to you It really just deteriorates you it breaks you down. Um, it makes you second-guess things um, It just makes life just a lot worse than it needs to be um, But then you realize like everyone has their own pain and it's the pain that I would say like no one can under no one, no one can understand your pain 
like no one can truly understand how you feel inside no one can understand that like that your your pain that you're you're, you're feeling that's your pain that's all that's all you but people can try to relate to it and that's how i was with my friend the other day like i could relate to his pain i couldn't f fully understand his pain but i could relate like we all have different forms of pain even if it's like a very similar situation or like um let's see for example this is just an example so it's nothing like real uh like my mom kicked me out and then your mom kicked my mom kicked me out then your mom kicked you out too right and that's painful for us because like where do we go to live and it affects us differently so like it can either break me or motivate me or it can break my friend or motivate my friend <laughs> that's what pain that's that's what i mean like everyone has like the different types of pain you like you can't just say it but we at the end of the day we can both relate we can both kind of understand it we just can't fully like understand it because again like it's all about personal it's all about what's in the head uh, you unless like we're like twinsies then <laughs> like there's we're just not going to really like fully relate anyway though um pain can do so many things right um and just like the the uh the definition of pain um it could really just change based on like how you view the world um so let's like starting off as like a kid like you get into like you get into like your first heartache or or you're just like really hurt that someone did something to you or you were just really hurt that your mom finally took a, like took a belt and whooped you laid her hand put her hands physically in a violent way on you then like you get up all up in your feelings and then you're just like like I feel like I feel really hurt inside that she like she did this to me and and stuff like that. So that's just like the first first part of pain. But then like when you start hearing like people like you get whooped, man. Like I don't get whooped. Like that's something that doesn't happen to me. But I just get like I might have to sit in the, por in the corner for like a five minutes and then I'm, after that we're all good. Um, but. And, and then when uh, let's say like well I'm, go I'm getting off track let me go back so when like when you talk to somebody who hasn't really dealt with that type of thing when you feel like they're kind of enjoying life they're not really like um, going through like any tough hardships the way you are it kind of has an effect on you and then that pain kind of gets bigger because you're like why is this happening to me what did I do wrong I didn't ask for this and it's painful it's sad I don't know what really occurred for me to be treated this way and again like you're relating this to somebody else who isn't really going through it like that so then like that pain just gets bigger inside of you and then going on forward like you, you come across more scenarios where like like you're being hurt more than like you see other people being hurt you see other people are, are are having happiness and you see that some people are just enjoying life to the fullest but deep down inside you're just feeling hurt and then what that pain can do for you is it really just puts you like in a dark spot and for me it put me in a dark spot when i was enduring pain um i didn't want to like again like i said i probably said in my couple videos where like, i didn't want to associate with my friends at the time and i have like i'm like for my best friends uh, at the time they were Kamal and he's still my best friend and then I had a, a best friend named Christopher uh, back then and I still got I still got two of my best friends uh, as well um Felix and Aroro but I just don't really I don't talk to him as much as I, I used to but the thing is whenever I, I was like super hurt and then you look at how other people's aspects of life are completely different and it hurts you it just it really hurts you because you you feel like you're being targeted it feels like like life has it out for you like life is just there to destroy you and 
that's what it's going to initially put in your head, like in your uh, your head, like life is just there to destroy you, to get you out of the picture, but to keep like the people that life wants in in the picture. So, but the thing with pain, guys, like pain is something you can turn into strength. Um, but before I talk about strength, like there's a couple of things that you can do with like pain, right? And recently I just started changing it. Pain, if you let pain get too bad, and I'm, pain's gonna always get bad for uh, for some people, but if you let it get to the point where it's deciding your decisions based on like feelings, like how you feel, um, like if you feel really hurt and you feel really betrayed or you just feel really suckered or whatever the case may be, um, you're letting pain decide like decisions for you and if you go based off pain um on an uh, emotional uh on an emotional plane then it's going to cause even more pain and grief for you like you're just not going to ever get better because you're letting that pain that's sitting with you um simmer and manifest into something that uh it's not going to help you in the long run it's not going to benefit you it's not going to like help you grow and then there's another type of pain where you're kind of carrying it with you you're not letting it you're letting it burden you a bit like it's like carrying a rucksack like you're going on a like you're going on a uh, like a march and the rucksack is the pain right and it's heavy at first but then you feel like it's getting pretty light but then when you go up a hill it's getting even heavier or when you're going down the hill it's getting even heavier and then at some point it doesn't get as heavy but at the same time like while you're doing that like you're accepting that pain and you're using that pain to like better yourself because what are you going on the rucksack for with a, like what with, with, with pain you're using it you're, you're turning that pain into strength and it's going to you another way another form of pain like is just kind of like accepting the pain and growing with the pain to turn that pain into something else uh in the not just strength but like um the fixed internal conflict or inspiration or motivational that's what you can do with pain and up to like up to now like pain was always like breaking me down it would knock me down off my feet for a bit and then i would get up and i'm just like you see my heavy backpack right there well right back here that's my heavy backpack right there that thing is heavy i have like so much stuff in there but that it, it's equivalent like i would always carry that pain with me because it's like it's something that you don't want to forget but in doing so, like carrying that pain, like at the same time, you're like, you're kind of just like, it's like better than, you know, having uh, the pain bring you down, but you're having this pain like every now and then it brings you down and then you just want to be left alone. Um, but that's what I used to do. I would like my backpacks, the, my um, imagery of pain and it would motivate me to get stronger and uh be more rational about things but then recently i was just like you know i'm carrying the pain i've been carrying my pain but and i've been turning that pain or using that pain as strength but i can do more i can do more with that i can make that pain um into something more than just strength like i don't have to carry it with me I can turn it into something and when i turn it into something the the memories of it isn't fading away and the, what it gives me isn't fading away but it's just becoming it's becoming more personal and it's it's becoming more like it's not there as a tool but it's there as like kind of like a um not like an emotional scar but not a bad scar not a bad emotional scar and that's what i mean like how i like recently i've been turning like the, the backpack is there but the backpack isn't holding my pain anymore it's it's releasing that pain uh into where it should be it should be in my heart it shouldn't be on the back where it, it's it's making me like physically stronger and mentally stronger but if you if you take that pain and you put it where it needs to be where it needs to be in your heart it needs to be in your pain i mean in your brain and as i said I, i'm a self-assessor so if that's going where it needs to go in my brain and I'm self-assessing, I'm I'm turning it into strength regardless, then like 
you're not forgetting the past you're not forgetting the things that you might want to forget but you're growing you're growing exponentially and you're not being brought down at all you're not being brought down like on a sad plane so I want to talk about and I, I again I try to ma not to make these videos too long because 30 minutes too long so I want to try to talk as fast as I can um, a few years ago my pops passed away and I was in a really dark point in my life and sometimes like it, it gets to the point where like I can still feel that pain like when he passed away and I would carry that pain at first I had the pain just kind of defeat me I was on stage one and stage two I, I got up and started you know it took me it took me months it took me months to, to use that pain as you know strength put it in the bag start carrying it with me it was my pain it was my best friend and it was with me it's going to always be with me in the form of a backpack or something um and sometimes it'd be too heavy where i would just have to sit down and rethink 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 and with that pain i wasn't thinking about like the good stuff i wasn't thinking about uh how lucky I was or how happy I could be um, I was letting that pain just really weighed me down at times like even though it was motivating me it was lifting me up to get somewhere where I want to be in life it was also bringing me down because it's just something really personal to you and you feel like you well you've been hurt and you feel like it's going to always hurt you but then you know one day I decided to fully accept it I wasn't going to use the pain as a tool no more. I was going to use it as another version of me. To hurt me. To hurt me that I can finally accept and let into my heart. Not let it onto my back. Not let it make me strong and then weak at the same time. I wanted to use it to make me strong. Mentally strong, physically strong. Um, happy strong. So that's really just my message to you guys is like like life it, it treats a certain amount of people like really unfairly and then it really just hurts you it it makes you want to give up um and i can assure you like it, it can get better um but you really you guys just gotta gotta learn how to if you're in stage one like and I can't emphasize it much uh, enough. It's gonna take some time, guys. Like, it's gonna take some time. And what's funny is that I'm want to see if I can put like that that clip inside of this video. But I was watching Divorce Court, and you know, not yeah, Divorce Court was Judge Judge Lynn Toiler, and then she was talking about like uh, how she was would write like all the things that was wrong about her in like a notebook, and then she would, she would write it down, read it out loud, and talk about it and then I don't know it was just funny I, I probably wouldn't put it in but it was really funny like how she was talking about it um like knowing your weaknesses by knowing your weaknesses and when you're you're thinking about this stuff like it's you have to be thinking about it because I mean if you're not I don't know like you're kind of not really acknowledging it but thinking about it and then you're turning it into something that it should be where it, once you get out of stage one you're not leading the pain mentally destroy you or physically destroy you you're letting the pain every now and then bring you down but then also at the same time it brings you up but now you got it uh, in stage three when you move on to stage three you're getting rid of uh that burden you're let you're letting go of those straps you're accepting it you're reaching your hand out to this um this entity that you've known your whole life you're giving it a handshake and then you're letting it into your heart and you're telling yourself i'm okay with you i'm okay with the pain you have caused me you are me i am you you are thou thou art i so let us grow together let's rise together let's not rise and fall rise and fall we're going to still continue to fall but you're gonna be there to pick me up. I'm gonna be there to pick you up. You're accepting it. You're growing with it. 
and that's just really what my message to you guys today is guys like try to you know do your like i swear like uh, i know it's it's rough at at times and you don't even i don't like to hear like life will be better but really it's going to be better and I, again like this is coming from a person who doesn't like to hear oh but life will be better man like it knocks you down sometimes i don't like to hear it but it, it, it really is true it really is true so that's all i have to say guys to you um hopefully you enjoyed the video and remember to like comment subscribe and share the video let people um you know although i'm not the best at really talking um i'm really trying my best and it's something i'm really be the, I, I, it's something that i really want to grow in uh in communicating properly um just so people could understand so yeah just share the video guys and you know like comment and subscribe um hopefully we can get like 300 subs um pretty soon but again i just want you guys to stay safe and i want you guys to be the best versions of yourself that you can be and not to give up too early not to give up when you feel like uh something is a certain type of way so i, I won't take up any more you guys' time so you guys take it easy i love you guys peace